the 14th hadith regarding the effect of vomiting on the fasting person. And Abi Huraira sallallahu ta'ala an, nuhu qal, qala Rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man dhara'ahu al-qay, falaysa alayhi qadha' wa man istaqa falayatli. Rawahu Abu Dawood wa Tirmadhi wa Ibn Majah wa Ahmad wa ruwatuhu thiqat. Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala an, narrated that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever is overcome by vomiting does not have to make it up, but if he vomits intentionally, he must make it up. Reported by Abu Dawood, Tirmidhi, Ibn Majah, and Ahmed, and its narrators are reliable. The hadith is evidence that if the fasting person vomits intentionally, his fast is invalidated. He must make it up. This is the position of the majority. As for if it overcomes him and comes out without his choosing that, then his fast is correct and he does not have to make it up. Al-Khattabi said, I do not know of a difference of opinion concerning that among the people of knowledge. Ibn Qudama said, this is the statement of the majority of the people of knowledge. The meaning of if he vomits intentionally is he caused its coming out deliberately. The meaning of whoever is overcome by vomiting is it got the better of him and he could not do anything to stop it from coming out. So if he vomited intentionally, he broke his fast whether the vomit was a little or a lot, according to the apparent meaning of the hadith. And because there's no difference between a little or a lot regarding the remaining matters that break the fast. Al-Muwafiq ibn Qudama said, there is no difference between the vomit being food, bile, phlegm, blood, or other than that, as all of that enters into the generality of the hadith, and Allah the Most High knows best what is correct. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, clarifying the ruling that vomiting breaks the fast, the fasting person has been prohibited from taking what will strengthen him and nourish him from fruit and drink. Likewise, he was prohibited from expelling that which will weaken him and from expelling that substance which he is nourished by. Otherwise, if he was allowed to do it, it would harm him and he would be transgressing in his worship and unbalanced. Some of the people of knowledge said that vomiting will not break the fast. This is the statement of Ibn Abbas, Abu Hurairah, Ikrimah, <clears throat> in one narration from Imam Malik. This is the apparent choice of Al-Bukhari, Rahimahullah, because there is nothing authentic regarding that from the Prophet wasallam, despite vomiting being a common incident. Abu Hurairah, he said, إِذَا قَاءَ فَلَا يُفْطِرْ إِنَّمَا يُخْرِجُ وَلَا يُولِجْ if he vomits, that does not break his fast. It only comes out and does not enter. And Allah knows best. Allahumma wafiqna li sabili ta'ati wa thabitna ala tiba'i sunnati wa luzum al jama'a. Wa la taj'alna mimman araf al haqqa wa adha'ah. Wa aghfir Allahumma lana wa li walidina wa li jami'i al muslimin. O oh Allah, grant us success on the path of obedience. Make us firm on following the sunnah and sticking to the jama'a. Do not make us of those who know the truth and squander it and forgive us, O Allah, our parents and all the Muslims.